Hey guys, welcome to the workout demo video for Friday, March 27th. Starting off with your warm up, we'll go with 15 slow burpees just to get you moving, get your heart rate up a bit. And then three rounds, whatever your odd object is, you're going to do five deadlifts, five cleans, and five front or goblet squats, depending on which piece of equipment you're using. And then for your mobility, stretching out a bit, seven broomstick good mornings. Let's do child's pose and pigeon and then Samson. Your workout for tomorrow is an ascending ladder for 15 minutes, kind of like an AMRAP. Clock's gonna run for 15 minutes. We're gonna start off with two odd object to the shoulders, like a clean, and then two odd object front squat or goblet squats, and then set your equipment down, two odd object facing burpees. Those are gonna be perpendicular to your object. And then we add two reps to everything. And then we do four object to shoulders or cleans, four object front or goblet squats, and four object facing burpees. And then we'll add two more reps, and we'll do six, six, and six, and then add again eight, eight, and eight, and you continue on until the 15 minutes runs out. Your odd object could be a kettlebell or a dumbbell, in which case, of course, you're using one hand at a time. I want you to alternate hands every rep. It could also be a slam ball, duffel bag, sandbag, barbell, of course, two hands, so you just do those reps like normal. Pick a weight that you could do 10 or more reps of any one of these movements if you were fresh. Um, already said about the perpendicular, I learned how to spell that this time. Your score is going to be whatever your last movement is. Let's say I'm working on the round of 16. I'm trying to get through the burpees. So I only get 14 out of the 16. That's going to be my score. 14 out of 16 burpees. Don't worry about counting reps. I'm sorry, rounds. Just whatever number of reps you're trying to get on that last movement, that'll be your score. When you cool down, take a walk, get on a bike for a little while, get your heart rate back down, and then let's stretch out the glute and the pigeon. Efficiency. Yes, so think about um, in the workout. For example, if we're on the round of 10, it doesn't make any sense to do 10 cleans and then set the barbell or whatever equipment down to pick it back up again to do your squats. So you might want to take a break after nine, pick it back up for number 10, and then go into your squats. Just think about how to move efficiently. Okay, so we're going to demo some of these. We'll do the clean odd object being a duffel bag, sandbag, etc., all the way up to your shoulders and then stand all the way up with it. Good. Might be a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Again, one arm at a time and then switching hands each rep. Good. And then with the dumbbell, all the way down to the ground every time, making sure that your butt is lower than your shoulders. Front squat or goblet squat, all the way down, all the way back up, full range of motion. Again, front squat or goblet squat with either a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You can hold the dumbbell horizontally or vertically, whichever feels the most comfortable to you. And then odd object facing burpees. Will's not going to trip this time. There we go, good. Derek's going to do about 15 of these just to make sure he gets them right. All right, good. So these guys are going to do, uh, they're going to start off with a round of two, and then uh, we'll probably cut the video off at that point. We've got too much social distancing. I can't get them in the same frame. How do you remember that one? And no music because uh, apparently licensing doesn't allow us to play music in our videos. So here we go in three, two, one, and go. Doing two cleans up to the shoulder. Good idea to hold on to your equipment. Go on, knock out your squats if you can. And then your burpees perpendicular and over with two feet if possible. After the round of two, we're moving into the round of four. Or we're taking a break. Oh, 